वेलकम गाइस दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ लेसन नंबर फाइव इन दिस लेसन आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द प्रिंट एफ स्टेटमेंट दिस वन ओके सो प्रिंट एफ स्टेटमेंट इज एक्चुअली नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इट इज पार्ट ऑफ a library called stdiwo.h uh, something that have we we have uh, included in this program okay this one so uh, the print of uh, function or the statement uh, is used to uh, output on the screen uh, strings any anything you want you can output on the screen uh, using printf it basically takes uh, parameters the first parameter it takes is a string uh, it takes a string and it outputs whatever is there in the string as it is except for uh, characters which have come after a percentage these are called format specifiers what format specifier means is that these you know these two characters will be replaced by uh, the value in this variable so this format specifier will be replaced by dollar the second one will be replaced by this variable rupee whatever is there in the uh, variable rupee and when you say percentage d what you are saying is that you are printing an integer okay uh let us look at other uh, format specifiers these uh, are the other format specifiers i have not listed all the format uh, specifiers that are in c i have just listed uh, the most important ones that we use okay uh when you say percentage d right it means an integer when you say percentage c means you are printing a character character can be numeric constants like 1 2 3 or uh, characters alphabets like a b c d capital and small okay and we have an ascii character set we will go through the ascii character set pretty soon in in the next two or three lessons okay and what percentage f means a uh, float what float means is um, when you are uh, trying to print uh, decimal points something like this numbers with decimal points this is of type float and uh, when you say percentage s you are saying that you are trying to print string okay what uh, what a string is anything between two double quotes is a string or you can have uh, strings in variables okay this is all uh, uh, i had to talk about uh, format specifiers now let's uh, look at the program uh let's execute it uh, and i'll show you how we can improve it much better okay so i have already executed so let me just compile it again and execute it as you see right um the dollar value is 42.3 but what we are actually printing is this 42 84 126 16 uh, this is not accurate so what we have to be printing is uh Forty-two point three, eighty-four point six, and the like. Okay, so let's make sure that uh, we print the right things. Uh, so why are we printing that way? Very simple. What we are saying when we say percentage d, we are saying it is an integer. Okay, so what we have to say it's a float. You know, in some we are printing something with a floating point. Okay, so we say percentage. Okay, so now uh, very simple, right? We are okay. This is it's still. See the dollar is still an integer. The what we are printing rupee is a float. Okay, and uh, now a rupee we are printing float, but rupee is of still type int. Okay, so let's change that. Let's uh, change it to float. So actually there are uh, different data types like int, float, char, uh, long, double, and all that. We're going to go over the data types and the. Uh, variable declarations and all that in next two or three lessons i promise not only now rupee is float now uh, we, as we see this arithmetic expression right uh, now rupee is float and both both 
dollar and exchange rate are integers so when we multiply an integer and an integer there is no way we can get a float because see let's dollar is one and exchange rate uh, is 42.3 but it is stored as an integer what is stored as 42.0 so when you uh, print one into 42. Uh, zero it's always 42 you cannot get 42.3 so let's put uh, this uh, exchange rate as also float now uh, let's hope that it will print properly okay so let's uh, save the program and save it right now We're using control s and let's compile it and um, let's run it okay so as you see right we are getting 42.29 9999 nine, nine, nine. why is it happening actually a very uh, simple reason actually very simple uh, reason you see uh, if you can look at this part of the program we are just saying percentage f so what it is printing is it's printing a lot of decimal places what we really want to say is uh, you print Here we are just saying percentage f, so it doesn't know exactly how many decimals to print. So what we really want to say is asking you to print only two decimal places. Okay, so this is how we specify only two decimal places, just point two. So let's save it and see how the program works. Cool. See. See how it is 42.30, 84.6, uh, 126.9, and 169.20. Uh, so that will get you our uh, exact result. Uh, but as you see, right, uh, the program is not looking all that good because all these things are not right justified. So let's just uh, right justify uh, these things. So it's actually very simple. So you just say that you print. Uh, you print an integer with six spaces but start from uh, right and this is how you specify that you say 6d and you say that uh, for float is exactly the same thing you print in six places and start from right and then at right print two decimal places okay so that's what we have told let's save the program and let's run it again as you see now the program uh, looks much better um, and all the values are neatly right justified okay before i end this uh, uh, lesson 5 i would want to uh, you know finish with this uh, thing i want to finish uh, with this thing before i really uh, end it i would want to finish with this thing see whenever you write a program and you have an output uh, just make sure that your output is right uh, very neatly formatted because nobody sees your program it's the output that people see so it's always important that the output is really very good uh, so take all care to have your output neatly uh, formatted and neatly presented and presentation is extremely important uh, with this i'll come to the end of uh, lesson 5 okay goodbye